Alright, in today's video, we're going to be testing out the Fisher Impulse AQ right there. You see it right there? I think it's only been about 20 some main. This is one of them. But he's going to uh, help us out today. He's got his Equinox 800 with him, and we're going to be comparing some signals on the beach with it. Alright, y'all ready? Let's give it a shot right now. Here we go. Alright, we made it to the beach with the Fisher Impulse AQ. Getting ready to cut on right now. I did test it this morning uh, for the very first time, cut on so I can at least hear what it sounds like at all in my driveway. Put a couple rings down so I can hear what they sound like. It picked those gold rings just up, just like that. I mean, actually, I, I, I was testing a couple things. I put it on the um, uh, discrimination side over there. Didn't even hear a quarter. So, and it said in instructions it will actually discriminate out coins, but it will hear the gold, and it did exactly that. So. Anyway, I'm, but on the very beginning of this morning, I'm not gonna put it. I'm gonna put on all metal mode. I'm gonna use what they recommend in the manufacturer to start with. Uh, you see these little blue blue things here that tells you to set everything where the blue blue things are. So our uh, threshold will will uh, set that up so we just barely start to hear it. Threshold is where you hear the tone in the background. So anyway, I'm gonna set everything up on up exactly where they tell me to do it, and we're gonna try that first on the all metal mode. We're gonna cut it on right now let's do it here we go all metal let's get the headphones on and give it a try right now we got buddy out there right now looking for a target and we'll kind of compare the targets when he gets one too or if we get one all right here we go all right buddy's got a hit here he says like a 12 on the equinox and i'm definitely getting a decent signal right here and what i do i'm gonna put on tone i tell you what i'm gonna put on mute to see if it goes away I can still hear it on mute, and I can still hear it on the tone mode. So it is a good target, supposedly. So let's dig it up and see what we got here. It's right in that area, right there, it seems like. Let's see. Sounds like it's still down the hole pretty deep. There it is, right there. And it's definitely a high tech pitch tone on it. Very first target right here that this machine has dug up. All right, and it should be right in this area right here. Whoops, Let's see what we got here. Right here. A bottle cap! The very first target that my Fisher Impulse digs up is a bottle cap. <laughs> All right, well, it, it fooled the Equinox too. He had it too, so anyway, let's keep getting up. Here we go. All right, this is the first sea water to this. Fisher Impulse EQ has seen. We're doing some uh, just testing today. I, uh, it's very quiet on the beach, actually. I've got a, you know, the slight threshold tone in the background, but it's very quiet in this uh, environment. So that's really good. I like that. Uh, of course, the targets are not nowhere near as plenty right now. As y'all can see, all the the uh, depositors are gone. Pretty much just me and Buddy here almost. But uh, it's sounding pretty good so far, so let's see if we can get us a target. Here we go. All right, I'm going to say right off the bat, I don't know this machine yet. I'm using the standard factor settings. But I did put it over here to mute, and that should mute out anything that we shouldn't be digging. And right here, still got a nice high tone right here. But I have dug some really small pieces of uh, metal, and I got that out. It's right in this area right here, whatever it is. Yeah, it's still something small though, I think. And it is, there it is, it's a bobby pin, I think. And it said it would give you a double tone on these, but it did not give me a double tone yet. Interesting, let's put it down on the ground and test it one more time here. Sounds like a solid tone to me. And it's, on a, it's actually on um, mute right now, so I would think it would be muting that steel bobby pin, but Right now it's not, so I'm still learning this thing, so let's keep playing with a few more targets. Here we go. Alright, Houston, we have a problem. Check Buddy's scoop out here. Buddy, you gotta get the extreme scoop, buddy. <laughs> it will never come out like that. We'll have to put it together, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Buddy's got a, uh, another scoop here, but he had a carbon fiber handle for it, and that came with it, but it's supposed to be a bolt in here. He didn't have the bolt in it, so 
He can go back and see if he can take it over to get it, get it back working anyway. All right, buddy. Get back there and get back. Come on. All right, here we go. All right, quick look at the ocean and the scenery here. Definitely raining back in that area right there for sure. And definitely some rain clouds in here. It's only 10% chance, I think, today. But I tell you what, it ain't looking good right now. But uh, we're going to be here for a while, so we'll, we'll dodge it if we have to. All right, just keep getting up. Here we go. Well, I've been digging a lot of uh, rusty metal, like as you see my hand right there. But I did just dig my first penny right here with the impulse right there. So it did give me a penny right there, but that's not what we're looking for. Let's keep digging here. All right, I hunted it down. That target was this right here. I'm digging a lot of this. I'm in all metal mode, what they recommend. So, but it is a lot of trash on this beach too, like that. So, all right, we're gonna try this for a little bit longer in the all metal. We might go to the mute mode where it should uh, mute out that type of thing. In fact. Let's throw this up on the beach right here and put it in mute mode and see if it will not hear that right there. What do y'all think? Let's give it a try. All metal now. Now I'm in the mute mode. And it pretty much boosted it. I would not dig that because it's just a not a consistent signal at all. So the mute mode does work eliminating that type of uh, target. But it doesn't go as deep on the mute mode. So we'll leave it all metal and just switch back and forth to the mute mode to see if we need to dig it or not. Let's give it a try. Right, we got a signal here on the um, all metal mode. Now what we'll do is we're going to shift it to the mute mode which should cut out once I shouldn't dig. That's pretty much gone. It's real, real low, low code. Alright, I'm not going to dig that right there after doing that. So we're going to switch it back to the all metal and go from there. Here we go. Alright, we're on mute mode and we definitely got a signal here. Nice high signal too. That's what we got here. All right, uh, come on out here. Let's see if we got it. Yeah, oh yeah, we did get it that time. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, it's not be too big. It's not gold, because I see it already. Yeah, it's a penny, I think. I think I see it right there. All right, the second penny for the impulse. All right, just keep digging. All right, we got another squeal here. Got a little different sound this one. I don't know if it's two targets here or whether it's one give me a weird sound here. Uh, I think it might be two targets. So let's go ahead and dig this one up. Let's see what we got here. Right, I think we got it. Definitely got it. Let's see what it is here. And I think I see a bobby pin or something here. I'm digging a lot of these. A bobby pin. Never dug a bobby pin before. I'm digging the heck out of them. Alright, just there's one thing I'm not crazy about. Just got this uh, straight out connector here to get in. As I'm swinging, I do a real wide swing, and as I come around, this is hitting the side of my body here, which I don't like. Uh, you could put a 90 degree on this, and a 90 degree on that, and actually have the wire so it's not coming back here, hitting here, which would be kind of nice. Um, even this made with 90 degree, so it's kind of down below, so it's not, as I'm swinging, I'm swinging around here, it's coming up here and hitting me right here like this. You know, so that's not cool. I don't like that. But so far, I've only found bobby pins, a couple pennies, a lot of steel. All metal mode here. It's just too much steel on this beach right this here to run it in that right now. Uh, it waste too much time. So I'm mean, going around to the mute mode, which should mute out uh, any kind of uh, stuff I shouldn't dig. But I'm still digging bobby pins. So I still don't know everything there's know about this though for sure. So. We're going to have to learn some more at home. I'm going to play with some stuff. I'll play with these bobby pins at home and see if we can hit the reject for iron reject and reject it out. So, let's keep digging and see if we can find it. Here we go. All right. I can't believe it. I just dug another bobby pin. <laughs> I can't believe it. This thing finds these things like crazy. All right. Let's keep digging. Bud, you find a scoop? I did. got me a stream scoop. This hey, time. you're going to be good to go now. <laughs> there it is right there. The stream scoop is a ticket right there, buddy. That ain't going to break on you. No. All right, let's keep getting up, man. Here we go. I just put a, the bobby pin down. I, last one I found, really heavy duty one. And Buddy's testing it with the Equinox 800. You get a signal at all, Buddy? No signal at all on the bobby pin. But this thing is screaming like gold. All right, well, we're still testing. i tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to cut mine back on and um, see if I can actually uh, adjust it out with the reject button. Right? All right, let's give it a try. All right, this is an all metal. Screaming, screaming. Alright, uh, let's see if we can. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way one way, reject. Still screaming. I'm 
screams all the way the other way. Still screams. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to reject that out. It doesn't seem like. Uh, we can check some of the other uh, settings and see if we can or not. But right now, I can't. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the sensitivity to the set here. Nah, she still gets it. I'm sure if I cut it up higher, we'll get it. So anyway, all right, well, let's keep the tech and see what we can find. Here we go. I got a nice screaming target, and it's a nickel. I like that. Nickels a lot of time when the 800 will sound just like gold. So I like finding uh, something else like that anyway. So let's keep digging. Here we go. I don't know if y'all can hear this, but it's kind of like a double tone to it. It's not real loud. It's kind of like a low tone. We're going to dig it and just see what it is. I think the book says that if you get a double tone, it's probably not going to be anything. But... It's got a low tone too, so it uh, shouldn't be anything good, I would think. Alright, let's see how this is. Yeah, it's changing tone on me just a little bit now. I might have got it. Let's see here. Oh, we got it. Alright, there it is. I see it, and it is something here. It's an earring. There's a double tone. It is a copper earring, so. Uh, not worth anything. Most detectors don't care about digging this. Sometimes I like to just dig it for the heck of it. But if you're looking for gold, this could be the machine right here. But if you just want to dig everything and see what you find, this might not be the machine. Anyway, we did find our earring. Let's keep getting up. All right, we've been out about two and a half hours with the uh, Fisher Impulse AQ, and we got a lot of targets, but most of them are steel. Uh, let's get home and look at everything we found and talk about it and get a little analysis. Stay tuned. All right, we got the Fisher Impulse AQ out to the beach for its first test run of the day. Excited, isn't it? Well, as you know, I, I have no clue about how to operate. I'm just using some of the guidelines given in the manual. Um, I don't know how to adjust a whole lot yet, so we're going to get there eventually. So I'm no expert in this machine, but I will go over what I did uh, see today with the machine. Um, let's talk about some of the good points I, I, I see and some of the bad points. So the good points. Um, weight. It's, it's really not that bad. It is a little bit heavier than the Equinox, but when I, when I put my 15-inch coil in Equinox, it's about the same as this one. So it's, it's really, it's really um, balanced out pretty good and, and flows pretty good as far as that goes. Um, it's got good volume. My ears are not that good. And the volume on it, I actually cut up all the way, but I'm not sure about the water. I haven't gone underwater with it yet, but the volume on the beach is excellent. And, you know, sometimes I got I got these headphones from my other machine. They were great ghosts. I couldn't hardly hear it. Hit my hearing is bad. Some people are defined with probably, but mine, this is great. I love the volume on it. It's good. Um, I didn't use it for two and a half hours. I was supposed to think last maybe three and a half, but I didn't have any, any issues with the power because I didn't go all the way to the end. But I do have an extra battery now, so... Uh, if, if we do go for all day, I can at least say should last at least seven hours with it, so we'll be good with that. Um, the target ID worked good. You know, I, you know what I do I normally do is I hear the tone, back up, barely hear it, dig right there, and get the target. It worked for just the day, no problem. All right, now, normally I dig, uh, I don't dig a lot. Of I dug a lot of things that I normally don't dig. Let's check out some of the items I found today with it. Okay. This is what I dug right here. Uh, a lot of these right here, these uh, tent pegs. I normally do not dig those. The Equinox does not pick them up, but it did on this. Some of these targets, I remember, I, I know that one. I switched over to the mute um, function, and it should take out anything it shouldn't dig, and it didn't take it out. I still had to dig it. So I'm kind of questioning, you know, if in a heavy iron area, what, what will happen with this machine if you dig it. I never dig bobby pins. Today, how many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bobby pins. I never dig those. Equinox going to hear them. And y'all saw a couple times, I think I probably got on a video, where I would get a target. Buddy, can you hear this? And Buddy couldn't hear it with his uh, Equinox. So, uh, that's, that's, I don't like the fact that I'm digging a lot of this little tiny piece of metal. You see, I dug a lot of targets with it today. I, it wasn't as if I only dug two targets. Uh, but a lot of steel. I'm digging a lot of steel. Some of these I did test, and at first it was boop, boop, you know, nice sound. But then when I put it on mute, it would give me a tone I wouldn't have dug it. But I dug it anyway just so I kind of tell that. So some of these did under the mute sound good, and some of them did not, but I still dug them a lot of time. Um, down here I got one file here. 
I didn't dig, but uh, ten cent. I did three, four, five, six coins. Three, four. But Buddy didn't dig much, much more. I think he had dug fifty cent worth. But so he dug a little more with the Equinox than I did. I did dig this one uh, earring, which he didn't dig any jewelry. But I did dig that one earring right there, and it's not gold or anything. Just a junk earring. But that's everything I dug right there, and I normally would not dig a lot of this. So that's kind of got me in question. But when I learn more, uh, it might it might be better once I learn how to operate a little better. Uh, one other function I didn't quite like is how these wires are coming out of the back right here. And when I'm swinging, I do a real wide swing, and it was actually hitting up a bit against my hip right here, kind of dragging a little bit. So I didn't like how these are up here like that. I would think they could come up with a better way to maybe put an angle down here maybe put 90 degree here so it comes out so you don't have same thing with that so you don't have that hitting you right here i didn't like that too much but anyway we can work with it. i can adjust some things probably get that to work but anyway uh that's the first run with it just just a trial run uh, i'm gonna try to do a uh, air test out back and i'm really uh we'll test maybe some of this stuff too and uh on the mute versus the all metal the all metal goes the deepest and that's the one you want to use if you can they say so, but if you got a lot of trash in here and you use all metal, you dig in trash all day. So I'm, I'm kind of, kind of questioned about that yet. So maybe some of y'all got any ideas on that, you can comment below. But uh, what I'm gonna try to do up back, do an air test and see how deep it goes. I'm probably gonna do some comparison with the Equinox. Um, you know, learning a machine, knowing a machine. If I knew this thing inside and out, I'd probably do a lot better with it. You gotta know how to adjust things and move things around. Equinox, I got a lot of hours on it. I can, I can tell you almost what I'm digging, you know. So learning a machine is the number one thing you got to do with metal taking because this one here you got to learn tones because uh, it doesn't have a, a digital readout. So you got to learn what each tone was, a high tone, a long tone, short tone. I mean, you got to learn all that. And I, I did not know that yet. But uh, I am going to be doing some other tests on this thing out back. I'm going to see how deep it gets a cannonball for one thing because I got that one cannonball alley. If it will go down another foot on cannonballs or something, man, whew, man, we could kill it in there. Civil War bullets. I think it's going to be the bullet pretty good actually because this whole detector is designed for gold. And gold and lead kind of are real heavy metals and they might kind of give a summer response on this machine. I'm not sure. We're going to test that out too. So Anyway, we'll be doing some more testing and more uh, analyzing on it. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll be getting that done here in the next few weeks. I right, appreciate everybody coming along today. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know what we'll be doing next. Stay tuned.